This is the ANOVA Analysis of Variance Calculator for MassCelebrity.com. And to get there, you simply type ANOVA. So this calculator does both one-way and two-way analysis of variance. Now, the first entry box here, you're just entering your scores. One set of scores per row, and each score separated by a comma. And the second row, you're entering your alpha value. You don't have to enter a percent, so one means one percent. When you're ready, you go ahead and press one way and nova. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to list out our table. And as you can see, the table actually goes the opposite way. So, x1, x1 squared. So, these are all the x1s, x2s x3s and then we have a column where they're simply squared values finally at the bottom we sum these up and then we sum up the squareds and then this last row we sum up the sum of the squareds next step we take the sum of the squares which is just these values here minus these values here and we get a total next we have the treatment sum of squares so it's these three here minus these three here which we've already calculated sum of square error is just sum of squares total minus the treatment Calculate K. Now we take the mean square treatments, the mean squared error, and finally our test statistic for the treatments. So F sub TR, which is this, these two values, simplify, evaluate. Now finally, we build our ANOVA table representation. So here it is for the actual variables and then we build the actual values beneath it. So all these values were calculated as you can see and then we just plug them in. And then the last piece is calculate a critical value and compare our test statistic to that critical value. And in this case since the test statistic is greater than the critical value we reject the null hypothesis. So that's our one-way calculator. Now let's run that same set of scores for a two-way. So you press the two-way button and again the entries are going to be the same here. So the problem starts out the same as the one-way. All this section here. Well, all this section here. But the blocks we're adding the blocks. And what the blocks are, they're actually the sum of the rows. So for the first way, ANOVA, and then this piece here, we're all concerned about the columns. Now it's the rows. So we go ahead and calculate our sum of squares total and treatment, which is the same as the one way. Now we're going to calculate the blocks. And I'm going to scroll back up here. The blocks. 50625, 50176, here's all the blocks. And then we subtract off our sum of xi squareds. And we get sum of square block 6. Now, the sum of squares errors formula, this piece is the same as the one way ANOVA, but now you also got to take the sum of squared blocks off. So we get 270. Again, calculate K. Now we calculate our mean square treatment, same as last time. And then the mean square blocks, this is new because we have the blocks. And then the mean squared error. Formula is a little different now. And now we're going to calculate two test statistics. The first is our treatment, which is the same as last time, and then also our blocks. Next step, we build our theoretical representation of the tables and then our actual values. 
So as you can see, we've added this block, blocks row too. Now we're going to have two conclusions. The first is our treatment critical value. And then we're also going to have our block test. And we draw a, a conclusion from that too. So that's pretty much it. Very easy to use. You just enter your scores, enter your alpha value, and you're ready to rock. So if you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, as always, please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.